Hey, what's up guys? No subscribers guy, back again for another episode in the Inspiration series. Now, today is going to be another showcase episode, just because this one would take way too long just to build by itself. Now, what I'm doing in the showcase episode today is a construction site. It's, it's what I decided I would build. I'll show you guys what I've been building, this construction site. Now, the reason I built the construction site is one, it looks rather cool, and two, it gives a sense of, of it gives a dynamic s sort of feel to your, to your city, your town. If, like, no town or no city is always 100% finished, there's always construction going on somewhere, and it just gives the sense of movement, and um, I thought I needed that in this city, on this town so far, it's been pretty flat everywhere else. So we needed somewhere that showed movement and, and, and change and stuff. The city's always growing and it's always changing and stuff like that. So what we've got here, let's begin. Let's just go around and I'll show you around. So what I did was I blocked off half the road. Like, you see that on construction sites, they block off the road. I thought that, I thought that looked quite nice. I used red and white wall. And on top of the red wall, I used redstone repeaters. To give this nice sort of barrier effect around where the working is going on on the building. Gives a real good sense of sort of construction, roadside construction, stuff like that. I thought that would just give it a really nice look and feel to it. This whole little red barrier. It's pretty simple to make, as I said. Red and yellow and then a red stone repeater on top of the red. Let's give this fence a look. Now here I've got some furnaces. And cracking different with a little chimney and some smoke coming out. I don't know, I just added that just to make it look cool. Add a bit of extra stuff. And I'm just going through the, the shorter details first, and then we'll go to the overall image. So we've got stuff like this over here, this here. Just some stone with uh, stone with rail over the top. Rail's holding it down, I guess. I guess it's going to be uh, going up to be built onto the thing. Pretty simple. Nice. Looks good. Now I've got two vehicles here. I've got this dump truck, which I guess I will do a vehicle tutorial on sometime in the future. Uh, the simple dump truck, it's not yet, the whole design isn't refined down, it's a pretty simple design. I think it looks nice anyway. It's got an open back, and we've got this digger thing. Here's excavator, whatever you want to call it. We've got an excavator, and I'll be doing that one as well. Here we've got this little sort of like, uh, best way to describe it is skip container full of dirt that they've dug up, excavated. Which I quite like. I thought that looked. I thought that added in quite a nice little look there as well. So that is that. All rather nice. So that all adds sort of a sense of, of movement. The vehicle sort of, as the excavator is over here, the excavator is sort of breaking down some stone or something. Maybe to be thrown in the back of this dump truck. I don't know. Place it wherever you want. Do what you want. If you want to build that, I want to build the excavator or the dump truck, I'll be doing some separate vehicle tutorials on them soon. As for the main building itself, and I spent a while thinking what should I do for this. I just used stone in this sort of square pattern here. 4x4 four four square pattern. And on top, in some places I've placed iron bars because it looks good. It's, um, if you've ever seen construction when they build like the concrete pillars. On the inside they always have iron, sort of like iron um, rods of iron in the middle and then put the concrete around. So I thought that gave a nice look of the building. Really simple. I just constructed a you know sort of a square sort of shape from on top. You can sort of see this sort of square shape where the building's gonna be made out of blocks obviously. Give this real sense of sort of in the in the still in the process of being built early stages. We've got the crane. I like the crane. The crane's quite nice. The crane uh, could be could be made better, especially its arm could be made a little better. I'll probably do some refining down on that. But it is sort of hoisting this another one of these blocks into place. Maybe a beam, a roof beam or something like that. So yeah, that's that. I definitely I definitely did try to sort of Give a sense of some parts of the building were being finished, or being finished, and some are still being built. So this this left pillar is closer to being finished than this right pillar, obviously because there's more concrete on the left one than the right one. 
We've also got, this is the one I feature I quite like, we've got some scaffolding around here. Scaffolding for the workers to come along and sort of, you know, work obviously. And some of the bottom floor is finished, but some of it isn't as well. So, there are a couple of these windows are completely finished. Which I like. It was really simple, just green wool and, and glass. You know, this building's never going to be finished. It's, it's meant to stay as a construction site for the whole time. So something that makes it look like it, what the final design should be like is, is nice. But here we haven't finished it, so we haven't got enough glass. So we're just waiting for enough glass to place in there, and then we can finish up there. And really, if you do this, it's really up to you about how you place things. As I said, you could just do a building. I like to cut off the road as well, just because I gave, I think it gave a bit more of a sense of a sort of construction site sort of thing. I think it's quite good. Yeah, and the pile of spare sort of material there, waste material. All construction sites have waste material, so you need sort of waste material. It can't be a super clean construction site. There's no such thing as that. Got this chimney sort of smelting maybe or producing some concrete in a concrete machine things they have. I don't know. But yeah, this pillar here, almost finished pillar, with it only one bit on the end. Only one bit left to be filled in. The crane obviously hoisting some stuff in up. The back end, same sort of deal. Some of it's finished, some of it's not. Some of the pillars almost go all the way across, waiting to be completed. If you go inside, some of it's flat and some of it's sort of dug down. I guess I like that. They're about to install the floor here or something. I guess I just added that for extra sort of movement. Because, you know, this waste material that this excavator is just destroying or chopping up to be carted away by this truck. So, yeah. This is my construction site. If you want to you want to build anything similar to it, it's pretty simple. Just a, It's literally just 4x4 four four squares that I did of stone. And then sort of give it a sense of movement, so vehicles moving in and out, the truck, some barriers, some high visibility barriers, a, you know, spare material here, scaffolding, some of the build, more parts of the building are complete than others, that's, that's the, probably the most important point here, that if you're going to build it, don't just build like a block or a load of these 4x4 four four square blocks, and so that's a construction site, like some of the pillars aren't complete yet, some of the buildings don't have top beams, some of the bottom has some of the windows and stuff installed. It's all about sort of the movement about construction site. Making movement in this in your city is the whole whole focal point of what I'm trying to get at here. So yes, that is it. It's pretty short. That's okay though. We've seen everything. It's a really simple build. It took me a while though. But I think I think it's good actually, I think I'm really quite pleased with this one, only a few things to do. Just need to improve the crane design a little bit. Might have to do that. Uh, especially the boom arm, or the big arm. That needs to be improved. Other than that, I'm, I'm personally pleased, quite pleased with my uh, my build here. Uh, if you guys want to build something similar to it, it's it's not that hard. It does take a while to sort of get it, get it nice and finished. But once it's done, it's 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 beautiful it's very nice so if you enjoyed please do not f forget to like favorite and subscribe and i've been the no subscribes guy <laughs> thank you for watching